Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, uh, I would like to talk about the construction of influence lines for uh, continuous beams using uh, robot structural analysis. Here we have this problem. This is a determinate structure, a continuous beam. It has three supports and one internal hinge. The question asks is for uh, drawing the influence line for the reaction at A and D and F. Okay, let's get started. First of all, let's create a new project. In the new project, uh, you should select frame 2D because uh, if you select uh, the 3D projects, you may have uh, instability uh, problems. So that uh, you should select the uh, 2D. Okay, so first of all, let's change the units to metric. Okay, so let's create a grid system for this six meter and six meter here. This is a continuous. So we don't gonna create the grid here. Uh, this is 12, six, three, three, and uh, six. Okay, in X direction, it's zero and it is 12. And six three three six okay. So this may be eighteen and uh, plus three twenty one and another three twenty four twenty four. So we can cancel this. So twelve. Six six six. Okay, let's delete that. Twelve and six. Another six twenty four. Okay, in Z only one is in. Okay, so this is our grid system. You should create the beam here. Uh, the structure is ten minutes, so the size of the beam, the material is not uh, important, but uh, for a Determine for indeterminate structures, uh, you should specify the uh, type of the section and also the material. I mean, the EI. Okay, uh, click here. This is a member one, and uh, this is member one, this is member two, six, another six, six. I, I mean, I think uh, we should another. 1266 this is a 1266 six, another 6 okay so again uh, 30 like okay here 20 okay so mm -hmm. um, let's create the sports the first support is a pin and we have two rollers here here's a pin Here's a pin and create a roller. The roller only resist the UZ at support one. This here, let's check it. Yes, it's here, 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 here. Okay. So we got the uh, beam. So we should create the internal hinge here. So I select this beam. And release the moment at here. You should select one of them. Uh, it's not necessary to release uh, the end of this beam and also the start of this beam. The end of this beam is enough to release its moment. Okay. So select that beam. And this is a start and this is the end because I, I, I created the beam from here to here. And also you can check by local axis. This is the EX, the X blue arrow is a here starts from here and ends here okay so select that beam go to the geometry and the release and the fix it pin it means fix it at start and pin it at the end this is actually what we need here okay apply okay so mm. for creating the uh, the unit load and moving load go to the loads special load and moving load okay Create new, 
let's say I'm also new here uh, unit load 2 okay here the load type is concentrated uh, concentrated force and the value is 1 at unit load 2 it is for uh, influence line okay so here we should define the root of the of that moving load click here define and click the line from here to here okay and then the steps let's say it's 0.5 the steps of the of uh, the moving load and here the load direction means 0 at x 0 at, at y minus 1 at z it means the, the direction of the unit load is uh, downward click on apply okay so and then calculate okay for uh, viewing the unit load right click and go to the display loads and check these boxes here apply this is a unit load okay so create the, the influence lines go to the results advanced and influence lines okay so here we should create influence line for a go to the nodes here if you if you want to create influence lines for shear and moment you should use ntm an element let's say element one and the position and the position if the pro of the question ask is for drawing the shear influence line at point b so you should select the beam and the position it's the relative position at the uh, at the middle okay so here uh, the question ask is for the reactions go to the nodes and fz node number here our node number is one in node number two three and four and five okay here is one show the node number click on that node numbers here node number node number one okay and apply this is an influence line for the reaction at point a okay so we can use uh, Muller Muller Breslow principle. This is exactly uh, the same. So the program calculated. Okay. So again, again, the question asks is for a reaction at D and F. Let's say D. The D is not number three. I go to results, advanced, and influence lines. Nodes FZ node number three here. Apply here. It's a influence line for the reaction at point at point D. Let's say using the Muller Breslow. This is a yellow, exactly the same as program calculated. Okay. And also for uh, node number four here node number four and let's check it this is a uh, blue is it is exactly the same okay for finding the shear or moment influence line for let's say member one at the middle go to the ntm and let's say moment at element number one and the middle relative at uh, 50 percent Yes, apply. This is a moment at point here at point B. This is moment at point B. And let's say shear at point B, FZ, same. This is a shear at point B. If you want to uh, simulate the animation of the, of the unit lot, go to results, diagrams for members, go to the parameters, labels, and select these options go to ntm let's say moment and apply okay so go to the select component this is a 
steps of your moving lot you, you can change the steps here from step one step two you see that the steps is a uh, 0.5 meter which is already we defined the step each step is 0.5 meter okay so you can see the moment uh, of the beam at each point when the when the unit load moves okay you can create animation and it starts this is animation of moving load this is the moment diagram for the for the beam under that moving load okay guys this is the end of uh, today's video hope you got something useful and stay tuned for the next videos thank you very much